What's what the one on my class king there? Three. 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 King. Okay. <coughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Just a minute here. Give us another stack. Lost a couple of thousand already, Umbre. Where'd you get it all? Maybe from the Valley of the Lawless. Uh, I reckon not. Ain't nobody ever gonna find that buried treasure. Right, Jenkins. Ain't nobody gonna dig up what ain't there. Well, I always allowed that if there was gold buried in that valley, the outlaws that have been roaming there for nigh on to 40 years would have sure gotten it by now. Hmm. <laughs> well, Jenkins don't seem to think you know. No, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. Put your money out, boy. Well, we're off. A lucky five, a lucky five, boys, a lucky five. <laughs> Buy Agnes a drink, huh? Then we dance. Well, I'm not dancing, but I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> Do you know an old card you around here by the name of Jenkins? Yeah. That's him. That old fellow sitting by himself over there. What's mine? I don't know what you're getting at, man. Oh, yes, you do. And you might as well hand it over to me right now. There are two other men on your trail, and they're ready to murder you for it. I reckon you know who they are. I guess you must be talking to the wrong Jenkins, son. I don't know what you're driving at. Maybe I have the wrong Jenkins. No harm done, is there? Nope. None at all, son.
What's going on here? Get back there. Give me that gun. Do you still claim that you're the wrong Jenkins? What happened? He shot this fella. Is that right? Yeah. If I hadn't, Jenkins would be dead by now. Do you know this man, Jenkins? No. You got any idea why this hombre would want to take a shot at you? That man didn't shoot at me. The fact is, that young one's lying to save himself. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You want to get rid of me because... Well, because of what? Well, that's something I'm not telling. Yeah? Well, maybe you'll tell it when you're tried for murder. Jenkins, don't forget. I'll be needing you as a witness. Put that man on his horse. What do you suppose has happened? Don't know, Joan. I can't figure why anybody would want to ransack this cabin. The old man ain't got nothing. There's Granny now. He's hurt. Oh, Grandpa. Here, Here, Grandpa. Oh, what happened? I thought they'd find it in this shack, but they, they didn't. But... Because it's here. Oh, what's it all about? That's, that's the map to the buried treasure in the Valley of the Lost. They were looking for a paper, but I, I tore that up years ago so they couldn't take it from me. That's why I couldn't let the sheriff or the others know I was wounded. There's a heap of gold that's Buried in that valley of the lullus. And if you just copy this, it'll make you and the kids rich. And, and men that kill for that gold. So, so be careful. Uh, I reckon I. Grandpa. I'm about through. Grandpa. Hey, son. You, you make a good boy. Oh, Granddad. Sheriff, Sheriff, what's the matter, Rube? Red will escape. Come on, get mounted. Been chasing an empty saddle, boys. He's 
most likely hiding in the Valley of the Lawless. Someday I'm going to push in there. And when I do, they ain't going to call it the Valley of the Lawless anymore. <laughs> He's always going to do something. Yeah, and never does. <laughs> boys. This is mine. See, I was told when I joined that we'd all share alike. And you always get more than your share, and I... And you what? Well, we aim to make you keep your word. Why should you get more than we do? Now listen to me. All of you. I'll do as I want while I'm running this outfit. And if there's any coyote among your pack who thinks he's a better man than I am, let him step up here and prove it. I can beat any man to the draw. I'll break him in two with my bare hands. Well, come on, who's going to step up? <laughs> Just as I thought. Not a man among you. Anyone who don't want to stick to me can have the sun up to get out of the valley. Now, who wants to go? Oh, there ain't used to talk like that. I ain't a, none of us going. Oh, we want to square a deal. All you want is what you'll get. Who's that? All right, boys. Let's look him over. I've reached the Valley of the Lawless. You guessed right, Omri. And if you ain't a star packer, you can turn right round and go back where you came from. And if I am a star packer? Then you'll never go back. Well, maybe this will prove to you I'm not the law. One of us. No, I'm by myself. By yourself. That's good. Well, you don't have to be anymore. You can stay with us. My name's Garlow. I guess you heard of me. Man, Reynolds is joining us. Thanks for the invitation. But I think I'll drift on alone. Just a minute. Nobody's pushing through here. Well, I am. This valley is my ground, and I don't allow anybody in here that isn't one of my men. You can either join or go back. What if I don't do either? Listen, fella, I have never seen the man yet that I couldn't beat to the draw or break with my bare hands. Maybe you haven't met the right man yet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Now, listen, Garlo. I'm not looking for trouble. But this valley is an open range, and I intend to go through. So make your choice. All right, Reynolds. I'll tackle you with my bare hands. And if you're able to get up off the ground after I get through with you, I'll let you go.
<laughs> well, that's that. I reckon he goes through all You're right. You're all right. Yeah, all right. right. Okay, hey, Opa! You're not so handy with a gun either, are you, Garlo? I'd be careful who I challenge from now on. Now that man's a tiger. He sure is. Son, the valley of the lawless has got to be cleaned up. I ain't going to have anybody snickering behind my back any longer. And oh, but Dad, it's suicide to go in there. Not if it's done correctly, son. And I'm going to ask you to help me out. All right, what can I do? Sneak in there and get the layout. I want to know how many outlaws, who they are, and how I can get around and surprise them. Now, you can do that where I can't. Yeah, and then what do you do? One week from today, I'll meet you with the posse in the north end of the valley. By that time, you should have located their hideout. Then we'll swoop down on them and surprise them. All right, Dad. I'll start the first thing in the morning. Now, here's how you go. <clears throat> That ain't human. You can't take all our provisions and leave us without anything. In this valley, I do as I like. Take what I want. You can either give up what you got or... Howdy, folks. Look here, Reynolds. You turn this outfit down once. And you ain't coming in now to share this with us. Who said I was? I've been expecting visitors, and I thought maybe it might be them. What are you folks here for? We came here to Homestead. Homestead? This isn't a very healthy place for that. Why not? It's rich soil, and I aim to make a living on it. There are better places. But this is the place we picked. Why can't we stay? Because I said you can't. Come on, men. Get the stuff out of the wagon. Hold on there. These folks can homestead here if they want to. And no one is going to stop them or take their provisions. Reynolds, you forget I'm Gallo. You and can beat to... any man to the draw or break him with your bare hands. I've heard that before. And if you don't watch out, you'll have to try it again on me or you'll let these folks go. You're going to let this fella cheat you out of your provisions? Come on, let's get him. Listen, I'll drop the first man to take the step toward that wagon. All right, Tiger. Have it your way. But remember this. You'll either join up with this outfit or leave the valley. Come on, man. Gee, you're swell, mister. You sure got them fellows buffaloed. Thank you very much. Any particular reason why you helped us, son? Oh, well, I... Well, anybody would have done the same thing. No, they wouldn't. Say, they called you Tiger. That's a swell name. Can I call you Tiger? <laughs> sure. You're not really going to join those renegades, are you? Why, of course not. Then you're not an outlaw. Of course he ain't. Anybody can see Tiger isn't an outlaw. You know some old cabin around here we could use to get our homestead picked out? I'm afraid not. The only accommodation around here is my cabin. Well, I reckon we'll have to stick by this old wagon then. That wouldn't be very safe. Not with this bunch around here. You'd better use my place until you get settled. Well, that's very nice of you. I told you he was swell. Someday will you let me ride your piddle, Tiger? Sure. Come along. If you folks will follow me, I'll lead you to my cabin.
Edgar, when you get another horse, can I have Pinto? Yep, I reckon you can, Billy. When I get another horse. It's a mighty good thing Reynolds saved us before those renegades found this map, Joan. Yeah, but you better find a safe place for it. You never can tell what might happen. I certainly feel differently. Who are those visitors you said you were expecting, Reynolds? Well, somebody that's coming here sooner or later. The law? Why, no, I don't think the law is very keen about coming to this part of the country. No, I reckon not. Guess I'll go water the horses. I guess I'd better go and join up with those outlaws. But why? Well, it'd be a protection to you folks, and, and unless I'm with them, why, you can't tell what Garlow might do. Oh, but you might be taking a chance if you cross those renegades. Something might happen to you. Would that make much difference to you? Well, yes, in a way it would. You see, you've been mighty fine to us, and I... And well, she likes I... you, Tiger. Why, Billy. Why don't you tell him what you told me, sis? Now, Billy, you hush up this very minute. <laughs> what did you tell Billy? Would you really like to know? I certainly would. Joan, I do hope you care for me. Because I... Well, I... Oh, hang it all. I, I just can't think of what I want to say. Grandpa Jenkins was just like that. He never could decide what he wanted to say either. <laughs> Jenkins? Yes. What's strange about that? Oh, why, nothing. Nothing at all. I, I think I met your grandfather once at Sun City. That's where you're from, isn't it? Yes. Grandpa died there just a short while ago. What's the matter? Is anything wrong? Oh, why, no. Not at all. I, I think I'll mose the earth and see if I can find a spot for our homestead. I'll go with you. Maybe I can help. Thanks, but I'd rather go alone. I can show you a beautiful valley and... Oh, don't insist. Dad's a regular old bear. He doesn't like company. I'll be back for supper. Well, I guess I'll go along too, Joan. Oh. I want to keep my eye on those outlaws. I want to find out what they're doing. You'll be back for supper. Sure, I'll be back. Can I go with you, Tiger? No, I'm afraid not, Billy. Oh, just a little ways? No, some other time, Billy. I'm in a hurry. All right. Bye. 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 Hey, sis, Tagger likes you. He ain't said nothing, but I can tell. Ah, uh, I said, Billy, you mustn't say things like that. <laughs> I might ask the same thing of you. What are you doing here? Well, we're homesteading. Homesteading? Oh, but, Joan, you know my ranch is waiting for you. Why do you want to homestead in this forsaken place? Oh, I know, Cliff, but we've been through all that before, and I just... Oh, but, Joan... Hey, come back here! Well, where's he going with my horse? Oh, he's probably going to join Tiger. They're inseparable. Tiger? That rider that just left here? Yes, do you know him? Well, his face is familiar. Hello, Tiger. Now can I go with you? 
Where'd you get the horse, Billy? Well, that's Cliff's horse. He just rode over, and I sneaked it. Well, who's Cliff? Well, he's the sheriff's son. The sheriff's son? Tell me more about him. You won't have to worry about him. He's been hanging around Sis for a long time. She never liked him, like she does you. Say, Tiger, it'd be swell if you married Sis. Then I could have Pinto, couldn't I? Well, I don't know about that. What would I do for a horse, then? Well, I'd get you another one. I'd get you a whole bunch of horses. Just what are you going to use for money? We're going to have a lot of money soon. Say, you know we never came out here to homestead. No? No. Being you're my pal, I'm going to tell you a secret, but you can't tell anyone. All right, Billy. You know you can trust me. We came to get that buried treasure. My grandpa had the map. Yeah? We're going to be rich. Now, don't forget, you can't tell anyone. I won't, Billy. But you better not tell anybody you told me. It might get you in trouble. I ain't telling nobody. I told you because you're my pal. Well, I reckon you better be getting on back. Can't I go with you? No. Oh, but Tiger. See, I'm in a hurry, Billy. Besides, Tino is too fast for that Cayuse of Cliffs. All right. You better be getting back now. I'll see you later. Yes, John. Well, I like you, Cliff, but I don't know. I just in love with someone else. Yes, I am. Who is it? Bruce Reynolds. Well, John, you can't be serious. But I am. But he's an outlaw. It ain't so. Tiger ain't an outlaw. And I'm going to tell him what you said. He's a fugitive from the law, and he's, he's wanted for murder. Well, I don't believe it. You'll believe it when Dad gets here with the posse. I still won't believe it. Don't mind what he says, sis. He's just jealous of Tiger, that's what. Listen, John, I tell oh, you... I don't want to hear any more, Cliff. All right. I'll come back sometime. Maybe you'll see things differently then. Oh. Where are you going, old timer? Don't you know this is the Valley of the Lawless? Yeah, I know it. Well, what are you doing following up that trail? Oh, nothing, just drifting, that's all. You know I'm Garl. You've heard of me. Yeah. Well, you better be telling me what you're hunting for or I'll break you. Well, if you're Garl, we might do each other a turn. See, I ain't as young as he used to be and I might need some help. What about? Buried treasure. I know the fellow that's got the map. There's plenty for both of us. You ought to help me. Well, you're mighty lucky you bumped into me, partner. Because if it's who I think has got it, you'll need plenty help. There he is, and I'll bet that's the map in his hand. That's the map, all right. Oh, that's good. Come on, let's get out of here. You got it.
worry. Don't worry, sis. I'm here. I'll take care of you. Brace up, John. Come on, you'd better start packing. Packing? Well, yeah, if you and Billy can't stay here alone, I'll take you back to town. We can't go until Tiger gets back. Maybe Reynolds isn't coming back. Well, what do you mean? You said that your father was killed by someone who wanted that map, didn't you? Oh, but it couldn't be Tiger. He didn't even know we had a map. How do you know he didn't? I know he wouldn't do anything like that. No. Well, what if I told you I saw him? Cliff, what are you saying? It can't be. I won't believe it. us putting this with a man. Don't see why we should. Well, you got the map. Let's get going. All right. Hey, men. Here comes Reynolds. I wonder if he's going to join up with us. up with us? Maybe. Did someone just ride in? Yeah. Carlo and a new fella. Dorgan's his name. Dorgan, eh? Hello, Reynolds. What are you doing here? I thought I'd come over and join up with your outfit. That's good. You can stay. But remember, I'm running things around here. Men, Dorgan and I'll be back pretty soon. Wait a minute, Garlo. I want to see you and Dorgan uh, alone. What for? We're in a hurry. Oh, it won't take a little moment. All right. Reach high. One word or a move and I'll make a sieve of you. Hand over that map. What map? Oh, don't play dumb. They made a mistake by having Dorgan here. I happen to know who he is and what he's here for. So hand it over. Come on. Take that rope over here. talking about, Billy? You know what I'm talking about. And I thought you was my pal. Why, I am your pal. You know I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. Take your hands off of me. I hate you. You killed my dad. And you stole the map. And you better give it back to me. What's the kid talking about, Reynolds? I'm talking about the map to the buried treasure. And he's got it. He took it away from my dad. You holding out on us, Tiger? Reagan! Reagan! 
Raven! Come on, get these ropes off me. Oh, get the ropes off. Come on, hurry up. Oh, don't talk to me. Come on, hurry up. Come on, never mind about what happened. I can't. Oh, just get them off. That guy running. Come on, give me my gun. Go, come on. He's cut the horses loose. Well, you go on, Bill. I'll stay here in case they are following us. Are you going to give me back the map? Not now. I'll be over later and explain everything. There ain't nothing to explain, Tiger. You and me are through. And that's how Dog and I got the map. You were going to double cross us, eh, Garlo? Did I ever double cross anybody? I tell you, I was going to take you fellas in on it. But I wanted to surprise you, that's all. Come on, hurry up and get those horses. We got to get that map back. Come on. Why, Billy, where have you been? I've been to get the map from Tiger. The map from Tiger? I got to tell you, sis. It's all my fault. I told Tiger we had the map. I never thought he'd double-cross me. Well, Billy, you mean to say that Tiger... Cliff's right. Tiger's the one that killed Dad. I just saw him, and he wouldn't give me the map. Stand where you are. If you'll just let me explain, Joan. Explain? How could you even dare come here? Wait a minute, Joan. I didn't kill your father. I came here to... I suppose you came to return the map, eh? No. That map is mine now. Legally and otherwise. Well, that map is ours. Grandfather gave it to us. I presume he did. But the treasure belonged to my grandfather. Years ago, my family came across the plains with a wagon train. What's what wrong? What, what happened? The commander of the fort has just been tipped off. The Jenkins and his gang has got old Chief Eagle Claw and his tribe to attack the train at Green Meadows. Warn the other wagons. Right. If those outlaws are waiting for us, we'll be mighty sorry we brought all this gold along. They ain't got it yet. And if we can hold this train a minute, they ain't ever gonna get it. Come on, we'll bury this gold. It won't take long. I guess you're right, Ed. Come on, let's not waste any time. All right. It's about time for that train to show up. Chief and his braves are waiting just inside the cut. So we'll stay right here and get that lead wagon. Let the renegades come. The gold is safe here. And in case of trouble, here's a map showing the location. That's a good idea, Reynolds. All right, 
boys. All right, here. All right, men. All right. No worries. They got the map after the massacre, but they had to make their getaway before they could locate the gold. It took me years to trace the map to old Jenkins. Then, then you also killed my... And to think Joan, I... Joan, ever... if you really want to know the truth, Jenkins was one of the outlaws. He was the one who disappeared with the map. He was killed by Brandau because he double-crossed his own partners and wouldn't give it up. I don't believe you. All right, Joan. Maybe someday you will. So long, pal. You ain't my pal anymore, Tiger. Cliff should have met us here long ago. Suppose something happened? I don't know. I'll get Dad and the posse. They'll get that fellow, Reynolds. I don't know. He's gone. Oh, you don't know, Hank. Trying to protect him, huh? All right, man. Set the plate. Give me that gun. Where did Reynolds go, and where's that map? He just left with it. Well, let's go, then. Wait. How do you know she's not sending us on the wrong trail? Just to protect him. Oh, I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. Well, that don't sound right to me. We've got to take a chance. What for? We'll stay here and hold these two. Reynolds will sure be back. I'm telling you, he's not coming back. You're kind of worried about us staying here, aren't you? Well, now listen here, girl. We're going to stay right here till Reynolds comes. And if he don't show up by sundown, you better tell us where we can find him. We aim to get that gold. Or you and this hombre here will never see Reynolds again. If he don't show up soon, we'll take these two with us. Right.
What's the matter, Billy? What are you doing here? The outlaws are keeping Sis and Cliff because you weren't there. What do they want? They want the map. They'll kill Sis if they don't get it. You better give me the map, Tiger. How many are there? A whole bunch. And they're plenty mad. If anything happens to Sis, it's your fault. Nothing's going to happen if we can help it, pal. If Cliff don't show up soon, we better get started. That fellow Reynolds sure caused me a lot of trouble. Don't worry. I aim to shoot him on sight. Here's the map, Billy. Thanks, Tiger. Now run along and take it to them. What's this? Where did you come from? What do you got there? Why, that's the map, map. Well, that's, 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 that's the thing we've been looking for. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, come on, let's not waste any more time. Let's get going. Huh? Wait. we got to get rid of that sheriff's kid. Why? We can't let him escape. He'll be coming back with a party. Right, step back. Get mounted, boys. Let's get him. What's all this about? It's quite a story, Sheriff. All right, start at the beginning. I've got to go, John. Dad's waiting for me. Oh, please, Cliff. Don't leave us here alone. All right, John. And that's what happened, Sheriff. Where's Joan and Cliff now? 
They're at the cabin, I guess. Well, Reynolds, I'm mighty grateful for what you've done for my boy. But you're still wanted for murder, you know. Why didn't you speak up that day I arrested you? I didn't want the news to spread out. Everybody would have been after the map. But it doesn't matter so much now, Sheriff. I wanted that gold to make some girl happy. But after I found the girl, I learned she's in love with your son. Got them all, Sheriff. Good. Fetch me a horse. Take him into town. I'll catch up with you. Right. Now, Reynolds, take me to the cabin. Why, what's Dad? And Tiger. Well, son, Reynolds here was telling me you had quite a time. Yes, Dad. From what I gather, we're all pretty much under obligation to him. And what's more, I'm convinced now that he was really protecting old Jenkins when he killed Brandow. There isn't a jury in the world that would convict him. They're even granting that, Dad. This man killed Joan's father. The law's got to take its course. probably find me as guilty as you do. Here's a map, Joan. And I want to wish you and Billy and Cliff every happiness. Can we go now, Sheriff? All right, Reynolds. We're going to miss him, Billy. John, I've been an awful cad. I must make a confession. I lied to you. Lied to you because I love you. Ah, but after what Reynolds has done, I can't go on with it. Well, what are you saying? Reynolds didn't kill your father, John. It was Garlow and Dorgan. Garlow? Dorgan? Oh, Billy! Ah! <laughs> 